Okay guys, so in this video we will look a little bit at building the header. So let's have a look. So this is basically the header right here where we just added this little section here with the label and a search field and if I type something to the search field and hit enter it's just going to say hey search because we haven't actually implemented the behavior that Slack has which is going to be well it's going to be a little bit more elaborate than that they have this massive thing where you have like a model and all that stuff but hey if I actually search for I don't know bacon something like that some file here was the end result is going to be that this action side panel here is actually going to be expanded so I was thinking that we're probably going to just ignore this whole thing here because this is like it's a it's a non-critical feature for us as we're developing this. It's easier to start with something simple and make it more advanced later on. But building that straight off the bat is just going to be a waste of time, in my opinion. We might as well just allow our user to hit enter here. And instead of showing this thing here, we're going to expand this part here and actually show some search results. We might, you know, depending on how far we want to take this, elaborate on that later on. If I refresh this page though, you'll notice that there is no label here because you actually have to select one of these little labels here in order to for it to actually do that. But that will be solved once we have a server that remembers what the user has been visiting or last channel they had open. So let's have a look at our changes. So for our HTML file, we've just added this little attribute data.js header. And then we've created a new component, which is going to be our header component. And basically, well, we can have a look at that. So we have a header directory that we're going to require. And the file inside of that is going to be this, where we have a similar thing that we did last time. We have our create element function, and we have our header component. And then we go and we grab the data.js header element here. We instantiate our header, it doesn't take any input parameters, and then we create our node, or well, our element if you will. We put the component onto the window object, and then we replace the header element with this node that we have created through JavaScript. And then I've added like some basic styling as well. We can just have a very short look at the CSS here to just get some styles going there. And then we have a look at our little header components. So here we see that we are importing the set selected channels event. And then we set, we create a subscriber or we make this component a subscriber to our events. And then all that's going to happen is that when an event fires, we're going to look at the type. And if somebody sets the channel, we're going to look at one of our, our header one reference here. And we're going to set the text content of that element to the sidebar selected channels property. And this is, uh, I hope this, this theme where we have like some type of shared state and events that explain like communicates to other components that hey the state has now changed is going to start to settle in here you see the red thread here so the sidebar is responsible for setting the selected channel and thanks to the fact that we both set that state and we dispatch an emet a message or an action that communicates to other you know to whoever is listening that hey that actually happened we can actually now update this in our own component. It would be very tricky to do this without having some type of message dispatching that that you, the different components can co connect to. Anywho, we see that we have an on search as well. So if we look at our markup here, we can see that, all right, so on the initial render, we're going to simply go and get the store states, go to the sidebar, and we're going to get the selected channel. Since we don't have an initial store state, which is something we're most likely going to add later when a ser the server is just going to, like, when the user logs in or opens the application, they're going to have some form of state being loaded at like when the page actually loads and this is actually going to be occupied with the selected channel but for now it's going to be empty right and then basically what we do here is that we create a ref a reference to that we call h1 which is this thing here and that means that hey now we can actually reference this specific element and just set the text content which is going to be the text which is which is inside this element and we're setting that to select channel and that's why you could see this little 
use oh well not that well you see this change here that's because we're simply setting the, um, con the text content of that element and then we wrap this in a little form like our input here so on submit we're going to call header dot on search and we're going to pass in the event and then we're simply going to prevent the default behavior which is to submit the form because we won't, don't want to do that we want to show the search result in our little action sidebar there but that's for later and then we have our input and that's about it really then it's a this is a fairly small component but uh, yeah that's that's me calling this fairly done so let's just put that over here and then we will have a look at building the chat history in the next video